Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to VR Essentials. We're live from Singapore, where you can get a weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. In today's episode, we're going to look at how to install various different mods so you can fly with your DeLorean in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 using the Oculus Quest or the HP Reverb G2. Today's shout out goes to Brainfeed, Midnight Rocker, and Aviator Boy 1996. Hi guys, how's it going? Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today is pretty exciting because I'm going to show you how to install various different mods onto your PC so you can basically use your Oculus Quest or your HP Reverb G2 and fly with, for example, the Star Trek Enterprise or the DeLorean on the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, before I show you how to do the installation, we're going to go and take a little trip and go back to the future, as it were, using the DeLorean in the south of France in my hometown called Nice, which is a really, really cool place. All right, so this is awesome. We're ready to go back to the future. We set our dials to November 5th, 1955 at 9 p.m. But let's focus more on the model first. As you can see, everything is pretty large. But again, I think American cars are supposed to be a little bit larger than perhaps European cars. And you can see the detail of the seat and all the wires and everything at the back there already with the engine and all the dials here, which we put all the things that we need to put so that we can go back to the future. I mean, this is pretty awesome. It really can't get, you know, any more real than it can now with virtual reality. So this is really, really cool. All right, let's start the engine and start the experience. We're going to be doing a little music video. So I'll give you my final thoughts after the music video and also show you how to install this mod. All right, let's start the engines. All right, off we go. This is pretty cool. I'm going to show you also the exterior. Look at that. Look at the detail at the back of the car. All right, we're about to take off. Look at this. This is really awesome. Nice golden hour. And look, look at this. Look at this. Look at the wheels. Look what's going to happen to the wheels. The vet's going to want to take one last look before we shut it up. How's the refueling going? Status report over. We're at 90%, sir. Uh, ETA, another five minutes. Wow, that was really something for me. It was really cool. I mean, I know it doesn't take a lot for us to be really happy inside of virtual reality, but it's really great that there's a community out there. And if you know other websites or other developers who do some really cool mods, it'd be awesome if you could share it with the rest of the community in the comments below. And by the way, guys, do make sure that you're part of the notification squad so you don't miss the next video, which I will upload pretty soon to the channel. All right, now let me show you how to go through the installation. You'll see it's pretty easy so that you can also fly in Microsoft Flight 2020 with a DeLorean. All right, so now we're inside of Windows Mixed Reality. So all you have to do is go to General and then look for Developers. Now, once you're in Developers, make sure that you enable it um, because this is really, really important. You can disable it later after you've actually installed your mods. That's not an issue. Then go to the top left-hand side where it says tools and then look for virtual file system and then look for watched bases. And then it's going to give you the name of the link, the folder where you're supposed to drag and drop the folder that you will then download onto your computer from the website, which has all the mods. And then make sure that before you close anything, go to apply and save. All right. So make sure you save the setting and then you can close Windows Mixed Reality. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to the actual website. Now you're going to see there's so many different mods that you can actually install onto your computer and have good fun with, including, you know, some Star Wars ships, Star Treks and different jet pilot, jet fighters and all this kind of stuff. So it's really cool. But today, of course, uh, we're going to choose the DeLorean. So all you have to do is 
click on the download now button and you're going to see that you can choose whether you want to donate some money now please donate at least one dollar guys because the more money they make the more it's going to you know incite them to make even more cooler mods in the future uh, but you know of course if you can't for whatever reason then simply you know click on the other link so when you're going to download the package you'll be able to download all the various different things so we're just going to click on take me there for now and then on the next page when it loads you'll see all the download buttons all right so you can download them one by one onto your computer and the files are not very big so the downloads are pretty fast and we're going to choose the dmc delorean which will then download directly onto the computer and it's going to take me about maybe 20 to 30 maybe 40 seconds maximum so unpack the file wherever it is that you want to unpack it to uh, it doesn't really matter for me it's in my downloads folder and then what you want to go to do is you want to go and take the link that we had from the developer section inside of the windows mixed reality 2020 uh, which was for me it was dwfm uh, community and then just drag and drop the file or the folder into there and then unpack it inside of there sometimes i try to unpack it outside and drag and drop the actual unpacked folder and it wouldn't work so just unpack it in there and then all the files will be there and ready good to go so let's go back into windows mixed reality all right so we're back inside of windows mixed reality now when you go inside of world map you'll see that in the aircraft section you'll be able to notice all the mods that you uploaded will automatically be there you don't have to do anything else whatsoever and you can also go back by the way to general and then developer and disable developer mode if you feel that it's going to cause any issues guys thanks so much for watching today's video if you want to see more of this kind of stuff then head to the comments below the like button and just leave some feedback until next time i'll see you in the next video